The Earth's climate is changing. Well, it always changes. It has since the beginning of time. And despite what some misguided individuals might think, the sun is the main culprit. Now, I've personally known this since grade school. The warming we've undergone over the past few decades was forecast long before it happened. Well, in the 1940s, as a matter of fact, so no big surprise there. Solar cycles are the things that actually help us forecast climate here on Earth, and a lot more. When solar cycles are more active, the Earth warms up, and when they're quieter, it gets cooler, as it has since 1998. Now, solar cycles span 11.2 years on average. They've been as long as 17 and as short as 7. The tops of these cycles are characterized by sunspots. Now, they produce solar flares, and they can cause electrical grid breakdown, plane crashes, and radio interference. They're extremely powerful. But what might surprise you is that these electromagnetic waves that shoot towards Earth also have huge influence on how we think and feel. Now, there are lots of studies to back this up. After all, the human brain is an electronic device. Alexander Chevensky, a Russian scientist, wrote about the effects of solar flares in the 1940s. Now, for his efforts, Joseph Stalin threw him in the gulag for eight years. It seemed to be a really bad habit of Stalin. Chevensky described an excitability factor that happens in conjunction with the tops of the solar cycles. He found that this high level of solar activity is responsible for civil wars, riots, revolutions, and it had an overall negative effect on human health. He also found that an overwhelmingly high number of historical events happened at the tops of these cycles. Now, just look at this chart of the past two cycles, topping around the year 2000 and earlier this year. 9-11, the top of the stock market. Plane crashes, bus crashes, gun violence, the Korean ferry disaster, Malaysian Flight 370. And if you look back through time, major recessions and depressions have followed on the heels of these solar cycle tops. Now you'll find more detail below. And yes, I know, it's eerie. We've just finished a solar cycle top, and we're also grappling with the biggest debt bubble in history. The markets are at ridiculous historical highs. However, I keep hearing that this time is different. Why? I don't know. I think the biggest debt bubble in history is about to burst. Now, I sure hope I'm wrong. But if you're at all concerned, I invite you to sign up on my site and learn how to stay safe over the coming years.